answer for. I love scores as much as the next guy. You know that. Yeah. We're, I mean, I'm I'm a big proponent of going to scores. Right. And I'm having a man's club, a gentleman's club, excuse me. But uh, why not just go to the one in Manhattan? I mean, to go all the way to Chicago for Wayne and uh, Ross Apen and uh, who else is going, Gary? I mean. So many of the guys are going down to the grand opening. The one in Manhattan is as top notch as you get. That's what I'm saying. You know. Baba Bowie. Baba Bowie. I understand if you live in Chicago while you're going. Baba Bowie. Doug and Ganji. Ganji. But they're covering it. I, but I, I they're covering it. What are they covering? I don't know. <laughs> what do they think is going to happen? I don't know. You can't show the good stuff. Exactly. <laughs> and we're spending money sending those two guys down to Chicago? Why don't we just get a crew from Chicago? Well, nobody can produce like those two. No, that's not true. What are you doing? And then, uh, the camera crew is going to be there. They're staying a couple extra days. <laughs> They're staying extra days? Yeah, what happened was the camera crew was going to be there Wednesday and Thursday anyway. We were going to, we were going to hire a camera crew, right. just a local crew in Chicago. But our New York crew is going to be there Wednesday and Thursday. So they said, you know, oh, we'll be really cool. We'll stay an extra couple of days and shoot it for you. Oh, that's cool. They're cool guys. <laughs> Real givers. Professionals. Yeah, nobody's staying a, a couple of extra days to help, you know, shoot me when I'm at the rodeo in Houston. Yeah, Sit what a sleep. sacrifice this is. Yeah. And we're flying Doug and Ganji to Chicago to go cover this? I don't know. I have no idea how that's working. Wow. Well, uh, Lonnie said they had a secret opening of scores the other night in Chicago. And uh, I guess it was for, like, a private party. And then they opened it to the public, and there was a line around the block. Yeah, and I, I keep hearing something about, like, Rodman might be flying in. I don't know if that was for the private party or <laughs> for this weekend. But I heard names of, you know, like, celebrities that were being flown in. Ben Affleck. <laughs> yeah, because he's yeah. not getting married. Yeah, they called off the wedding. You oh, they did? Me. That's what it says in the front page of the Daily News. On the anniversary of September 11th. It's the J J No. Yeah, we got to care about that on nine eleven. This guy says it's eight hours from St. Louis to Chicago. Oh my goodness, it's getting longer and longer. Is that right, Matt? Ah, he's gone. Eight hours. Yeah. You know that's well, about right. The guys told me yesterday you, you don't want to drive it. I was talking to the guys in Chicago. Well, it's, a, it's a fifty minute flight. Yeah, maybe that's what they were talking about. It's an hour flight, not right. an hour drive. Yeah, when people say it's an hour from Chicago, they mean a ride. You know, plane. What's, you know what's pathetic is on the road you're so lonely, and if I knew that a bunch of friends of mine were at scores only eight hours away, I'd think about <laughs> renting a Fiat and driving out there. There's Ronnie the limo driver who has somehow networked himself as like Lonnie's right-hand man. I'm a consultant. That's cool. He's flying that. He's not even going to be at work here tomorrow. He's going. No, I'm going to be here. I heard you're not. Who told you that? That's the rumor. I'll be here. Yeah. I'm just going to leave an hour early. That's all. Oh, so he's leaving I'm, early. Yeah, I'll be here. He's flying out early. Then why is he going? Why early? show what, up at all? What? Why? Why is he going out early? No, I'm not going out early. That's the flight they booked me. Twelve o'clock. Scores <laughs> booked him. Yeah. So what? <laughs> so you're going out early then? Yeah. What do you mean you're not going out early? You're going early. Well, that's the flight they booked. That's the only, that's but tell me I have work. I said I could arrange things. The only reason that Lonnie's your buddy is because you work here. Yeah, I know. Just I keep that in mind. That. I, mean, I understand. You know, I understand, we'll understand that. Hey, this goes away. Oh, Lonnie's going to go away. I understand that. All right. I never questioned that. Though. Okay. All right. So anyway, so Lonnie had a secret opening. Yeah. Last uh, Tuesday night. Right. And um, they invited, so I, you know, a private party for people they invited. Right. And then at about ten, eleven o'clock, they opened it to the public. And there were people lined up around the block. This is like deja vu. I think yeah. I've heard this before. Yeah. I just said that, but I oh, like, I was, I like I was, hearing I it from you. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. I was. <laughs> Have you heard any rumors of any celebrities? Yeah, Mo Vaughn is there. He flew out. <laughs> Mo well, Vaughn. He's out there. Who's Mo Vaughn? He plays, he's for, the Mets. Mets. He plays but, for the Mets. He plays for the But he's hurt, so he's really it's, just sitting around and he's getting paid. He's wow. making eight mil a year to sit around and get lap dances. That guy. He flew out but, with you know Big John. You know, the big guy that works there. I know Big John, yeah, yeah. Big John took him out there. He personally escorted him out there. You know, escorted I'm a, Mo Vaughn out. Yeah. You know, yeah. It a, must be a big deal because Mo is always at the New York scores, yeah. and he had to be at the Chicago scores. i got to tell you, I, you know, I'm a Met fan, and Mo Vaughn's hurt, just collecting all this money. I heard he literally, like, lives at scores I hang, I hang with him all the time there. He's I was always there. I was getting a lap dance from a stripper. They were like, you know, Lonnie was nice to me, brought three over. I went to that VIP section. They all looked over my shoulder, and they left it. <laughs> And as they were leaving, they went, there's Mo. <laughs> Mo Vaughn. Yeah. yeah, he is Mr. Scores. Two of them didn't know what he did. They just knew he had a lot of money. Right. 
Let's go to Mo. Yeah. Let's leave so, Artie and so, go to Mo. Yeah. Yeah, I heard something about Rodman coming out, too. Rodman. I, I, I don't know how true it is. It probably is. I think that would motivate him. Man. Unbelievable. Are you feeling like you ought to go? <clears throat> no. Oh, wow. Lonnie, because if I want to, I could go to the scores here in New York. What but there I... must be something special going something on. Something different going on in Chicago? No, it's, it's just, just exciting. It's, it's a hype thing, you know. Right. He was telling me that um, a lot of the girls came out on Monday, and they went out to this uh, steakhouse, this fancy steakhouse in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And when they walked in, all of like the you know Wall Street type guys that work in Chicago all got up and gave them a standing ovation. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They're so happy. What Everyone is very happy in Chicago about this. Howard, you should go. We should do the show from there next week. <laughs> yeah. Lonnie offered to send uh, Howard a private jet if you wanted to go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I might have to jet in. What what night is it? Saturday night? Yeah. Wow. See, that would be sad. If you just happen to be in the area, it's one thing. Mm. But if you I go jet to, in if for you it. a private jet. I don't think that's sad. Kids, I can't be with you. I, <laughs> Daddy has to jet into Chicago. I think that's rock and roll, man. Yeah. I'm missing my kid's first football game because I have to go to scores. <laughs> <laughs> it's very embarrassing. Did you explain to him why you can't go? I just said daddy's working. Yeah. <laughs> just wait till he finds out. Yeah, daddy's working. How do, how do you explain that to a, to an eight-year-old? Daddy is working. Like when you're getting your lap dances, are you going to be sitting there thinking, gee, my son might... I, I think he's making his first touchdown. <laughs> I wish I could have been there with you, boy. Hey, my old man missed a couple of my football games because he had to put up antennas. You know what? Right. You're working. That's why they made a videotape. Right. Yeah, you can videotape it for your son, so they'll, no, no, no. so he'll see. No, no. Daddy working. Daddy working. <laughs> Daddy's working with a big tent in his pants. <laughs> well, one's gonna you know, that. Gary gets that that bone edge going. Look at his face and his bone. His going. bone, his bone going in two seconds. Yeah, I, I, they, they're sending me along to keep an eye on Gary. Yeah, right. Who's keeping an eye on you? <laughs> you know, Ronnie's gonna get stupid drunk. Yeah, yeah. but if he's like, woo! Yeah, yeah. With his tequila shots. A lot of screaming. Yeah, yelling. He's fun when he's like that for about a minute. Yeah, you you think so. I, I don't. do. He's loud and annoying. You can time your watch by Thank Ronnie's you. scream. Thank you very much. Because you know what he does? He just drinks as much alcohol as he can within 15 minutes. No, it's not true. Slow down. What's your rush? No, I know. I, I, I've, uh, I've mellowed out. Have you? Yeah. All right. I pace myself, but now. but without having to drive anywhere to go home, you're no, going to be no, no. you're going to be you're no, going to be incredibly nuts. No, I don't do that anymore. I pace myself now. You know what? Just this way, I can scream through the whole night. Oh, jeez. <laughs> He's all passed out in the chair. No, no, now. I don't do that. I'm telling you, I don't do it anymore. All right. I've gone up to Ronnie at scores and said, "Listen, you're drinking a little too much." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, Artie. The last time I saw you at scores, <laughs> yeah, you were sitting in a in, in a corner in the, of the room. Yeah, I might have had a few with your head back against the wall. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, okay. I might have thrown a few back. Yeah, yeah, just a few. So what? Good for the buffet. Ronnie was hammered in Vegas every night. I got reports. No, I when was. we were there? no, I wasn't. That's what I heard. I j I stayed out late, but I wasn't hammered. Really. No, I knew I had to get up in the morning. I, I wouldn't do stuff like that. But I was out late, yes. Definitely. Is that why you were so alert when we were there? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was late night. It's getting ugly. Yeah. Uh, that trip's too much for you to Vegas. You don't need to go to that anymore. You're, uh, you got too run down over there. You're a little, you're a little hazy. What? I just wanted to say I had a room across from Ronnie in Vegas, and every morning it'd be the same story going, "Oh, my head is killing yeah, me." Yeah, okay, Will. And then, and then no, even by eleven o'clock that wrong. night, he's yeah. like screaming and yelling down right. the halls like see, this, the regular see, drunken see. Ronnie. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you? Yeah, this is another one. But yeah, you know, what about you? But, the, what I, but yeah. he's not doing security. Yeah, but yeah. He was, he's you're a, my representative. He's an. I was not screaming in the hall. So let's get that straight. That's number one. Number two, Will, <laughs> the is just the opposite of me. I'm happy and having a good time. He gets very angry at people. He the, starts to curse them out. The rumor on Will is instant lunatic. Just add alcohol. Really? Oh, yeah. 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 It's the same with you, Ronnie. I don't curse people out. I don't I insult. I don't insult out. people in the street. Oh my. Will I'm comes out of a bar and he's loaded and he'll go out in the middle of Columbus Avenue and he'll start screaming at people. Like F you and No. Hey, did you almost get, Will, did you almost get beat up a couple of weeks ago yeah. down the Bowery? Did you No. What happened? 
Where? I don't know. You and you. Uh, you where? Hey, <laughs> oh, the, I know what happened. One of the Bowery the night of the um, the night of the blackout. What happened the night of the blackout? Oh, yeah, I, d I drank a little too much. <laughs> yeah, and what happened? You said something to some guy who kicked your ass. I don't know. It, I got pretty drunk, and then we were just walking around the streets, and I was just yelling at people. I think. I mean, what, what's your problem, man? What are you angry know. about? I don't. I, I don't know. No, Do you angry. feel like we're sitting in the midst of a bunch of derelicts? Hey. Like an AA meeting. Hey. Is he real angry? Hey, Howard. Very. About what? I don't know. I think I know. What is he angry about? Don't you have a bad childhood? No. Aren't you the guy with the father who was a drug addict or something? No. <laughs> no. Or is that the other kid? No, that's Jay no. Dick. Oh, okay. But well, the other day, you Will got drunk, I think, at the the racetrack and started going up to Asian women and no. going in their Damn. faces and going, <laughs> No, I didn't. <laughs> What happened to you as a kid that you're so angry? Nothing. It's not angry. It's just we get I get stupid when I'm drunk. I, people like misconstrue it as being angry, but it's not. It's just like you know. Wait a second. Hold on. I, he's a good guy, and he's got his act together. When, when I gave him the job, I I said to that I said, "Listen, you know what? I heard some things that can't happen anymore." Right? But I know I know one of the things that he did that that was right when he was an intern. A bunch of them got drunk and they went to a restaurant in the neighborhood and. He went. He, he was down at the bar in the basement. It wasn't open. And he stole a couple of bottles of vodka. They chased him. The owner chased him down the block. And no. <laughs> Isn't this crazy, man? What are you doing? No, but he's not doing that anymore. I told no. him no more of that. What stealing? Or just not getting really... drunk and not knowing what you're doing? Yeah, you, you gotta, you gotta get yourself together. No, no, it's not like that as much anymore. I as much. Kind of I think he's angry how because he had leukemia at one point. No, I didn't. Oh, right. He was Hodgkin's. And he, and he was on his deathbed. Oh, you were on your deathbed? Yeah. Well, you remember that. Yeah. Wait, well, didn't, I, didn't I save your life? life? Yeah, you definitely. Yeah, tell that story again to where I look good. <laughs> Go ahead. I, I was sick in the hospital, and uh, you inspired me to, to live. Actually. Oh, I thought I called you. You, you called us. You did call me. Well, tell the story. What's wrong What's with you? Sorry. No, I was I was in the hospital. <laughs> I wrote you a letter, and then, and then you then you called me. Did I really? Yeah, you really did. Oh, that's so crazy. By the time we called him, he could have been dead. Yeah. He got out of the hospital. Well, thank goodness you saved him so he can yell at Asian women. Exactly. That was one. How, 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 old how old were you when this? How old were you when this? I was uh, originally 15, and then I came out of uh, remission again when I was in seven, when I was 17. So what, how old were you when I called you? 17 or 18. I think I remember. I called you at your house. Yeah, I just got out of the hospital. Yeah, I remember you were kind of dopey. Like, like you didn't have a lot to say. Were you drinking that day? What did you no. say to me? I don't even remember the conversation. Well, I, I was pretty much in shock that you had called me. You kind of put me on the spot at the Who time. wrote me the letter? You did? I did, yeah. yeah. Why did you write me? What did you say me? in this letter? That I should call you and, and help you? No, you know, I just said you've been, you know, I listen to you every morning. I'm stuck in this hospital. It would be great if you could call me or oh. whatever, something like that. Yeah. And you did. And then he did. And I did it. Wow. That's even more shocking. Right. <laughs> so you see what a good guy I am? Very nice. Seriously. That's a great thing I did. It is. Oh, it's not patting yourself. <laughs> I'm shocked. Oh, God. I remember you being really upset because by the time... The and by the way, if you're dying, don't write me any letters. I'm not calling you. Because he's such a great guy. Yeah, I'm only doing that once. And yeah, don't don't, don't feel too bad for Will because he comes from a, uh, uh, a rich family. No, he does? No, I don't, John. Oh, no kidding. Wait a minute. I thought he was on Will. a farm. Yeah, he was a farm John. boy. John, right on top of the finances. Will, <laughs> what was your grandfather famous for? No, like my great... Great grandfather helped start Cigna Insurance, but that's like it's like so money's been so weathered down at this point. It's not it's rich. Not kid. Help me get, no, it's not rich. I got through college. It helped pay for my college. Okay, whatever, that's it. whatever. <laughs> John's like, how would I figure Will's yeah. worth ten million? Yeah, yeah, please, John. John. <laughs> he's a Rockefeller. He's worth more than me. John oh, always yeah. looking at everyone's money. Yeah. yeah. Uh, guess how much Will's worth? Ten billion. <laughs> well, he's got a trust fund. Or yeah, but it's small. you have a trust fund. No, yeah, I said it. Got to college. college. Oh, it's all news to me, man. Yeah, yeah. got plenty left. Come on, no, I don't, on, baby. No, I don't. John knows everything. Why does anybody tell John anything? I always, they tell him when they're weak. I know. I always said John should have his own financial show on like one of the cable news networks, and it's just him looking at camera, going, "Guess how much Artie made at the Plenty Bar?" <laughs> right. Yeah. He, <laughs> and he looks behind his back. Announce what grand. people made. Guess how much Gary made <laughs> at the Valley's opinions? <laughs> Thirty-five hundred. <laughs> Will's got a trust fund. Guess how much Will's trust fund? Is? <laughs> Ten million. <laughs> Before each one, he got to look over his shoulder. <laughs> Guess yeah. how much Robin made from a book deal? <laughs> Forty million. <laughs> Guess how much Roddy makes from the security business? <laughs> Eighty grand a week. He always looks over his shoulder. He always looks over his shoulder. 
It's just keeping it confidential. Guess how much all these development deals work? <laughs> Half a million. <laughs> Who is coming from, uh, behind him? That's what he does in here. Because when he says something in here, yeah. you got to look at someone. <laughs> Guess how much fire comes stock with that? Forty. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Guess how much Mel Thomas is worth? <laughs> Two pills. <laughs> There's the show, John. I would watch that show. Guess how much I paid Jason to paint my apartment? Uh, Ten dollars. <laughs> but it's double what he makes here. <laughs> Guess how much Jason makes a week? <laughs> Eighty dollars. <laughs> Guess what Benji makes off the stripper website? <laughs> Audi, 400 a week. <laughs> That's clear. It's <laughs> <laughs> so true. Guess how much my apartment went up in a year? Oh, 150 grand. <laughs> John down. Guess how much Susanna makes on Bernie's bachelor? <laughs> 200 a week. <laughs> Free and clear. Free and clear. <laughs> oh, man. You do love to know if he's going to make it. It's totally true. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. It's Stutter and John's financial show on MSNBC. I love it. Job. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, and I didn't know Will was a trust fund baby. That took yeah. me by surprise. It's not. It's not. I must have known that when I called him. Really? That's I, I, must have, calling? I must have sensed it was a rich kid riding me. <laughs> I, I must have been looking for some angle. Yeah, I'm some rich kid. Yeah. Hey, that was really nice of me. It was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, everyone's going down to scores in Chicago. Guess how much scores makes a week? <laughs> 400 grand. <laughs> Um, that's low. <laughs> that's a little low, according to Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie's got a piece of scores. <laughs> Ten grand a week. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I think those strippers think Ronnie is part owner in scores. What? He's got some kind of thing going there where they think he's like an owner. Oh, dear. Just because he's sitting around there all the time? He shows up with his suit jacket, and he's there every minute. What does his wife say that he's flying to Chicago to go to scores? I couldn't I couldn't figure that out. I'm, a, I'm doing consult. I'm consulting. <laughs> He's gonna. Ronnie's gonna train the security staff at Chicago. No, 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 it's got nothing to do nothing? with it. I, I'm consulting. I'm consulting on. Ronnie wanted me to come out and see what the new club looked like. Oh, so you're gonna evaluate it? So it's kind of like when they come back here to look at the new club that they built to see the difference between the one in Chicago and the one in New York. Did you hear yourself? Wait a minute. Yeah, that made no sense. I'm That's... getting flown out there. That's yeah. all I know. That I don't understand. Is your wife angry at all? No. 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 His wife's real cool about it because he's there every, every night. Every no, Friday. No, he's Fridays. There. Fridays he goes. Not every Friday, but you know. You can yeah, pretty much see him. A lot of Fridays. Friday. A lot of Fridays. My, my friends go. Ronnie loves scores. Yeah, I do. My friends go in and his wife was talking to her mother on the phone. And, you know, she's like, well, what do you mean he's going to Chicago? Is it business? And the wife goes, no. And she says, what's he doing? He's going to scores. Who's this? This is my friend Ross, my, the other friend Ross. And, Your manager, yeah, Ross. And his, and his mother-in-law is going, why, why are you letting him go to scores? And she said, his wife said, you know what? This is a monumental moment in his life. <laughs> <laughs> I said, that's a cool wife. You see, the thing that turns me off to marriage is she's going to let him go. Right. That's what makes me nuts about marriage. Oh, I told you one of the other I guys. I hate that she's going to let him go. You need permission. How one of the guys. And told you know me, what? As much as you want to be cool and say, "Well, I don't need permission," you do kind of need permission. One of the guys. Well, told me, it's two becoming one. Don't you realize that? Yeah. It's horrible. <laughs> it just seems like a well, horrible setup. When I, when I got. Well, when I don't I think it's made for necessarily a person like you. It's right. not. I you do. need everybody to be saying what you want to say. It, yes. <laughs> That's what I need in a relationship. I need everything That's my okay. way. It's you. Everybody becomes you. Yes. Not you two merging into one. Everybody becomes you. Thank you. You understand me. <laughs> but you know what? I see you, like, with Beth and stuff, and you're, like, you know, you, you seem like you make concessions. You seem like you're nice and, like, you do the things, I do. She, the things she I wants do. to do. I do. But I, uh, the marriage to me means getting permission. 
Well, I told you my friend said he got a 48-hour pass to come to score. Yeah, I hate that. <laughs> well, I, I, and I know I know it's true, but I just hate that. He has to get a 40, it's a grown man has to get a 48-hour pass to go to scores. Yeah. I, I never ask for permission. I just say, well, I'm going yeah, to scores, yeah. that's it. There's no discussion. I'm, 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 I'm going to scores and not buying your coat. I got, I got, an, actual, and, um, I got an actual printed invitation. Yeah. Uh, you know, they came in an envelope and everything, and I just handed it. I said, you know, I'm going. He said, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. Like you had, I was, well, what if she said no? Yeah, what, <laughs> oh. Boy, you get to He's the first second. Wow. No, I, I don't think she would ever say no. What if Bonnie said to you, look, Ronnie, I've been with you, you know, a lot of years. Right. We've been through a lot together. Right. It insults me as a woman that my husband, okay, when you go to scores, it, it sometimes it hurts me, but what do I care? Right. Now you're flying to scores in Chicago. It hurt, it just it just pains me because it, it, even just to everyone and, and inside it's, it says to me that you're not satisfied with me. That's not true. But that's what you would say. It's not true, and yeah. then you would go. Yeah. <laughs> it's where I go. Like when Ralph Grandin told Alice she wasn't going fishing. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going. <laughs> I am no, she, going. She realizes that I have a good time and hang out, and you know I I'm home all the time, and you know I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm hanging out. Would you would you ever take her with you to the grand opening of Splash? She wanted to go. Mm -hmm. She never wanted to. You know, she never wanted to. That's die. your place, though. You wouldn't want to like Ralph Grandham. You don't want to take her fish. It's like it's like uh, it's going it's like going to the Bergen Hunt and Fish Club. You know, right? Like right? the mafia. Yeah, exactly. You don't take chicks to the Water Buffalo Lodge. You don't. You don't. You don't come through that steel door. Right. Bonnie, none of the girls are going. <laughs> <laughs> I am raccoon of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Only guys at the raccoon meeting. <laughs> Me, Norton. Boy, all the years I was married, I had, I went to scores, and uh, you know I, I never asked permission because if I asked permission and the answer was no, I know I couldn't have lived with it. Yeah. You couldn't, man. Yeah, if she I said, would be oh, angry. Yeah. You know, because I want things the way I want them. That's the problem with me. I can't be married. <laughs> oh, yes, you can, as long as you get yeah. your way. If I could find someone who would just give me my way and never say anything... You need, uh, like, a deaf, dumb, blind person. Yes. Who can't do anything <laughs> about you. Anyway. Right. Let, let me ask you so something. So they have to go along. Okay, you're saying, like, the way your relationship is now, it's good, right? Right. And you, you, you do things that Beth wants to do because you want to. Right. That, so if you marry her tomorrow, that's going to all change? Yep. Yeah, because well, it's now mandatory. Because he doesn't have a choice. Also... If I don't want to be there with her, I can say tomorrow, I don't want to be there. And she can say the same thing. There's no complications. There's no, you know, I mean, emotional complications, yeah, but... He thinks there's no complications. I think there are none. Because, you know, well, why? But what really, what is the complication? But right now, you all have merged into such a situation. They'll be, well, what about the dog? What about this? What yeah, about that? That's easy, mm, easy to handle. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> That's true, if though. Only, there are complications. Absolutely. Listen, having been through the big complications, if all you have to talk about is a dog... No, you know, I'm just saying good. it becomes... It, it morphs. Everything morphs. She's you, right. You don't understand. She's You're right. She's right. Simplistic. It, it becomes a whole big deal. There's a guy we know that's going through that right now, and he's got like he's got stuff to get back to his girlfriend. No. How does he get it? Right, so, right, right. He's got to come to the apartment. It's upsetting. But, uh, you know, look. You know, you can't have it both ways. Robin's right. Like, you can't have a great girlfriend or, or wife and be able to go to scores whenever you want. you got to make some kind of sacrifice. Now, Robin's no, right. I didn't say that. In my relationships, <laughs> I would want everything my way. I know that about me. I want to be able to go out the door, go to scores when I want, and do whatever I want. That's why I'm not a good guy to be uh, married. You can't be that way. Well, you know, Howard, I was just invited to the Playboy Mansion. Go ahead. To some big party. And my wife just said, so you're going to go. She just asked me if I was, like... And well, she's, got, she's so browbeaten. <laughs> yeah, look at, look at you. You're, you're urinating in Sprite cans. Yeah. I, I, heard, I heard a story about John. John had this little get-together at his house. And they were out in the backyard, and the dog took a poop in the backyard. And he saw the dog take a poop. Instead of going over and cleaning it up, he goes... Susanna, the dog no. me. No. Oh my God. With the click of the finger. That's not true. And, and get me a beer. That is so not true. <laughs> what do you mean? Then what is the truth? 
I said, hey, Suzanne, the dog may, could you clean it up? Oh, oh, oh. could you I clean it up? I didn't snap my finger and point at Guess how much that party cost me? Did it ever dawn on you to Eight get up? Did it ever dawn on you to get up and clean I, it? But see, I just got done cleaning twelve of the of of, of the poop. So I mean, you know, we try and share in the duties. Every thirteenth one, she cleans up. <laughs> we try to share in the duties. And did she go over and clean it? Uh, she just gave me the bag. Oh no, she might have cleaned that one. No, I don't remember. She cleaned it. She does whatever he says. I know. She's a great uh, woman. Where's, George, did ever, where's the point where like she's pregnant and you're like, you know what? I'll get that one, honey, because maybe you're feeling not so good. Well, listen, the first three months she's been puking every day. Now she was been in bed. Now she can start, you know, getting up. Now she can start cleaning again. <laughs> now go walk the dog. You live through that. You live through her being in bed all, you know, that crybaby routine. So enough for you puking. I get up and do some work. <laughs> you know what? You know what cures that puking? Working. <laughs> she just started the first day of training, is it? Of what? I got her a trainer. What, through oh, pregnancy? Just yeah, yeah. You're insane. Your wife just got her weight back down and everything, and then you knock her up again. You're crazy. I, I love kids. If John put as much effort into work as he did to figure out how to keep his wife thin, he'd be a genius, mm -hmm. you know? Wife's cute, but he's going to ruin her by keep knocking nah, her up. This, this is the last one. Yeah, the, the, you know what? Third one, they don't always recover. You don't know. Oh, she'll recover. So a crapshoot. What'd the trainer cost? <laughs> no, I, I, I don't even You care. got her a trainer? Yeah. What is it? Where'd you get her a trainer? Uh, from Bally's. I, I'm oh, so it costs nothing. Cost nothing. No, 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 I think it does cost nothing. No, it doesn't. No. I, don't, I, I think it does. <laughs> John, if it costs you something, you know it costs you something. You know every cost that costs... Oh, that's right. He knows I'm every cost sure you've got. 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 I'm pretty sure. What do you mean? You, don't, you didn't say to the guy how much I, does this cost? I told Susanna that, you know, uh, to you get a trainer and I'll pay for it. So I, don't, I haven't even asked her. Did you, know, did you get it from uh, John Harris? He, it was, it was the same thing oh, I had. Yeah. So is that John Schnurring off the uh, show? No, no, no. I, I that cost, trust me, it's not costing you a dime. No. And you, maybe it should. <laughs> What is that? You can't uh, take advantage. Why well, don't you try to be calling Spallies and taking no, no, advantage no. of that? This is the same trainer I had, and I don't know yeah. if you guys are right. I think it is. All right. All right. Well, you would know. Believe me. Believe Mr. Cost. Yeah, I can't believe you. I, I already told my wife that after she has the baby, I'm putting like a few grand aside for any plastic <laughs> surgery she needs. <laughs> you know, for, you know, if she has like a, you know, like a, she, she needs a tummy tuck. <laughs> you must Guess how much my wife's tummy tuck costs? <laughs> Four grand. <laughs> Boy, oh boy. Tummy tuck leaves a big scar, dude. You don't know that, do you? You don't even know what a tummy tuck is. All right, hold on a second. After a woman gives birth, right? Go ahead. Sometimes they can have like a stomach that doesn't loose away. skin. Yeah, loose skin. Most of them get that. Yeah. All right. So then, so what do you? What is it called when you tighten up? Tummy, tummy tuck. tuck. That leaves a big scar. Yeah. Yeah, where, where it's a, a big hurt. belt around their waist, like a, the, like a belt, like a scar belt, like that thing that Richard Hatch had. Right. Yeah. Oh. That's a tummy tuck. Oh. Kenny Rogers. Only yeah. had it on his back. <laughs> What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? That's, that's not going to happen? Well, well, my wife wants Did to Did you look into it? No. My wife wants to have a C-section. I said, that's out of the question. I don't want a scar there. So well, then you're talking tummy tuck, which is a scar. It's going to be a huge scar. Right. It's going to be uh, hip to hip. So that means like if Madonna has birth and she if, birth. if she had something that she, <laughs> she would have a scar. If Madonna has birth, what? Madonna, birth. Madonna gives birth, right? Yeah. Her, st her stomach looks awesome. Go ahead. So... Now I'm sure that if she had some flab, she'd get it fixed, right? I don't. I'm but just she telling you. She didn't have flab. She she well, is a work. She's a workout aholic. Your wife isn't. She's got nothing to do all day but work out. Yeah, Madonna. Madonna's twisting herself into a pretzel right now. Yeah, to be thin. Your wife goes for a tummy tuck because it'll be loose skin. You know that that you don't like because you know that's like your You're thing. You're perfectionist. Yeah. <laughs> when she goes to get her tummy tuck, she's going to come out. She's going to have a big scar. It's not going to go away. She's gonna have a big belt around her waist. Well, then what do you do? Have it painted. What do you do? You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to get used to the fact that your wife's not gonna have the body anymore because you keep knocking you her up. Or her body. Or bound and incredible. Or what you're gonna have to do is get somebody to watch the kid all day so that your wife's job is working out like Madonna's. Give her 12 right. hours a day to just oh, so work out. That you, 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 that, that you could really you know, work out and that and that and that. It depends on how big your wife gets during her pregnancies. Yeah, you should start hiding the food now. Yeah. <laughs> not everybody can do Don't that. That's a lot of work. During your pregnancy. Dude, you're in a dreamland. She'll she'll rebound fine. She always has. What's more important, you having more kids or having a perfect wife? They're both important. <laughs> Which more important? Uh, have more kids. Be honest. Have more kids. I mean, this okay. Is, well, then, so stop it. My last kid. It's my last one. You could always go to scores and look at. Jeez, a I'm stomach. so sorry. He's not going to have any more children. <laughs> yeah. Guess uh, how much a kid costs. <laughs>